Greater Centerville Historians, organized in the year 2000. The purpose of the organization is to preserve the history of the Township of Centerville, Cleveland and surrounding area. Gerald O'Neill, Charlie Bauer, Richard Wiegand, and myself, Kathleen Sixel, were the founding members. In 1831, the territory south of Green Bay was sold to the U.S. government by the Native Americans who had title to the land. The consideration was the promise of a reservation in another state. The Township of Centerville was established in 1850. The township had a village called Centerville. The reason for the hamlet's original name of Centerville was, in the days of the Indians, there was a trail along Lake Michigan between Manitowoc and Sheboygan. This heavenly spot was exactly at the halfway mark, so the early white man gave it the name Centerville. In 1849, the village of Centerville was surveyed and laid out in lots and blocks. The village of Centerville was renamed Heike when the Postmaster General informed the village leaders that another Centerville was located in the state. When it became time for Centerville to be renamed, a judge in Manitowoc by the name of Albert Schmidt would take kids hiking. The judge said, you can't call a town hiking, so why not make it Heike? Thus, the village of Centerville became Heike. In the early years, Centerville had the vision of becoming a lake port. To encourage ships to dock there, two piers were built into Lake Michigan. Many German immigrants arrived by schooners and the village began to grow. The village had a brick factory, stores, schools, a Lutheran and a Catholic church, mill, saloons, blacksmith shop, and a fire department, and a brewery. When the brewery was built, the settlement began to flourish. But when fire destroyed the brewery, the largest industry, there was no longer a need for the harbor facilities. So ended this chapter of the development of Heike. Two miles west of Heike, another settlement known as St. Wendell began to grow. It had a Catholic church, a general store with a connected dance hall, and a post office was also located in the complex, a funeral parlor, and at one time a motel. With the clearing of the forest, tilling of the land began. This prompted the exporting of lumber and grains. The farmers of Centerville looked forward to the building of a railway since they had a serious problem transporting their products. In 1873, the Milwaukee, Lakeshore and Western Railroad was built between the settlements of Heike and St. Wendell and was named Centerville Station. Centerville Station was renamed Cleveland after President Rover Cleveland. Cleveland at that point in time owes its growth to the fact that the township of Centerville was a rich farming community and farmers from miles around would bring products to be shipped by rail or ship. The village of Cleveland had several grocery stores, a furniture store, a funeral parlor, several saloons, Lutheran church, hardware stores, several gas stations, newspaper, photographer studio, several car dealerships, cheese factory, several feed mills, livestock yard and lumber yards. The biggest business was the Cleveland Co-op, which offered many types of services. With the feeling of green crops, the farmers began dairy farming. With the abundance of milk, another industry began, cheese and butter making. Local cheese factories dotted the countryside. One-room schools were usually built near the cheese factories, so children would have a ride to school when farmers brought their milk. In 1958, Heike, St. Wendell, and Cleveland incorporated into the village of Cleveland. In 1968, the Cleveland Elementary School was built. The township of Centerville has seen many farming changes, but dairy farming is still the primary vocation. Today, Cleveland is known as the seat of Lakeshore Technical College, which offers an educational alternative to four-year colleges. An ancient proverb states, 
When an old person dies, a library burns to the ground. These words were the inspiration for organizing the Greater Centerville Historians. We hope to preserve as many memories as possible. City Brick was built in 1875. But Walter Classics Farm, um, that house was built in the 1860s already, and that's Cream City Brick too. And they, they actually made that brick on the farm. Yeah, they, they were they were getting the clay off the farm. So that may have you know been a, a brick yard that was that predated the one I heard. How long was it operating? Now this was at the Duggan store. Yeah. Soxies, were in, Soxies were in here, and that's the first post office. And yeah. we had a magnifying glass. I put it over there, over the door. It says post office. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, sure. yeah. yeah. And then there was a post office <laughs> at St. Wendell, and uh, and that was they said was in Stevie's or Press's or Press's. Yeah. Right. Post right. And the full first post office in. Cleveland was in Wagner's Hotel, which is the history house, right? Oh. One day when I, I, used, I was working here for a year, it was in Burner's house, too. And one day I was planting a tree, and I went down about two feet, and I hit something. It was a real hollow sound. It was the foundation of it. It was concrete under there, so we didn't plant the tree there. We moved it to another location. So there's still some foundation underneath, under the grass over here. On their property, Kathy and Chris. Where was that store yes, located? Store right over there. Oh, right over there. Yeah. Yeah. Right on the corner where there's yeah. that empty lot. Where, yeah. where she lives. Where yeah. she lives next to her house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kathy, what was in your barn? Their barn there. there must have been animals in there. Was it a little farm or was that a little farm? Or a for us. Oh, okay. All oh, for the post office. The post office. No, Bill Sachs used to Somebody was asking me the other day who William Grunigan was, and I said he's the largest man who ever lived <laughs> in, in, in the Valley of Cleveland. Who was he? He or Gardy? What? His son, Gardy. Gardy was Gardy. that. Yeah, he was a cop or a constable. Oh, okay. I can see him with that old My dad said he was 400 pounds well, and he was about that six and a half feet. Somebody said seven feet tall. I don't know if that's quite right. He was tall. I didn't remember him. So this is the inside model winter guy. Yeah, this is going to be the first year. Okay, this was the park. Is that why they made him house the book? Because he's a little damaged now. What about Paul? Oh, he had a duck. Oh, was that over here? Oh, down there. 
that hurt Don. I, I, I remember oh. Bill said it hurt Don when he was like. Which was the one where you could turn the horses around? Well, that's this one. This, this one. That one. That must be this one. It was right out here. Right out here. It was wide enough for the horses. They, 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 they shipped beer out of there. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. When they had the Indian scare, the, the residents of, of the village here all ran out on the pier and they and they destroyed the the, uh, the shore side of the pier so that the Indians couldn't couldn't get across. Mm -hmm. And they stayed out there for what, a couple of days or something? Yeah, I don't remember. That was the well, women and the children they put out the there. The story I heard is that they went out on the pier and they barricaded it. And then the men who were still protecting the pier realized, well, if they come here, they could easily start this pier on fire. So they brought everybody back in and then moved them into Sheboygan. Sheboygan, that's right, because that story I have, and that's in Sheboygan's history. Sheboygan County's history, where they took them into Sheboygan. Because they realized that this isn't safe, that we're on a wooden pier. This was in what, 1862, I think I read somewhere. I think there were two Indian scares, actually. I remember talking to Alan Pape about it. Do you know how they started? Or how it started? The Indian scare? Yeah. Well, wasn't there something, some type of legislation passed in the state that made everybody nervous? I feel, I, I've heard a story faintly. It was on September 2nd, 1862, the Indian scare was. Okay. And it started with um, somebody went to a neighbor, and then a neighbor went to another neighbor and said, e everything is on fire. And I think that all it was was one barn had burned somewhere in the town of Mimi, huh? Yeah. Not positive on that either. And it really, well, there was not no truth to the rumor whatsoever. Well, it would have been town of Mimi because everything was town of Mimi at that time. Yeah, and I thought That's that right. Senegal didn't have a separate existence. No, they did not. It was still town of Mimi. Um, Alan Pape told me that they traced one rumor to Watertown to a bar, huh. Indian, oh. Indian, Indian scare, and it, it spread all over the place. And it was just a couple of drunk people talking about Indians. And somebody left the bar thinking that there was a real attack going on somewhere, and that spread, caused a panic. I don't know. If, I don't know if that's true either. That was another rumor that I heard. That a fact that an apprentice of J. Socks, you know, fixing shoes, still wore his blacksmith apron. Upon his arrival at Sheboygan, shows how hasty the flight was. 
went right with his apron. I wonder if everybody from the township was evacuated too, or just the village? Because there is no story in, in my family of anybody running into the town because of the, I mean, not that it didn't exist. But. Okay, um, why don't I look up the story that I have from Sheboygan County? There's something here in that. Oh, yeah. And then we can compare notes and we'll go into it another time, all right? Right. And then we'll talk about this further. And that book was written by Judge Bukit. In the 30s, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Their father. Their father. This is the Falsch's History of Manitowoc County, Volume 1. Oh, yeah, I've got uh, copies of that. Yeah, yeah. Yep, it's a two-part series written in 1912. Doesn't say. I think that's the one. Have we got all our information that we want on the Hike Bay Tavern? Well, Jane Rain was murdered upstairs. Right. In the tavern, which I didn't know until you told me. <laughs> she came with her fiancé, and her fiancé left her here. And she had no place to go. And she worked at Stoltenberg store also. Jane Rain? Jane Rain. That's oh. where she worked, yeah. Earl told me that tonight. Earl Stoltenberg. And she worked for his grandfather, great-grandfather. Hmm. She worked at that store. When did she die? She died um, in 1899. I thought Stoltenberg wasn't started until 1899 or something like that. It says 1851. Yeah, but I, what, did Stoltenberg have a store in 1851? Did that grandfather have something else of the great grandfather? Did they have a funeral? She was the housekeeper there. They might have had something. I don't they had know. a furniture store. They had a furniture store, and maybe she was the housekeeper in the house that they took her in. And he said it was never really the facts yeah. aren't really true. She, they don't even know that she was murdered. She was just found dead, and she was living upstairs. And, and she was how old? She was um, 30. 30. Oh no, this is the wrong one. Wait, what? I was going to say 1851. That's when the tavern was established. So it was she would have been a little later. Her, her gravestone is up there. The dates are on it. But she was 31 years old, and she died in 1866. Okay. Well, this must have been a different murder than in 1851. Yes, that is. That's this murder. And that was the man that was axed. And that girl told me tonight that was supposed to be at the Hetzel place at LTC there. Isn't that the Hetzel place? Mm -hmm. yeah. And that they found the body under the bridge. As I understand it, it was in the Schulte land out there. Okay, see, now we'll have to do I wrote, I just wrote Roger. He talked about that at our reunion, but I just wrote him to give him Schulte a was, is where? Coaches. Straight west. Oh, okay. Because I had heard about the Hetzel thing before, too. Anyway, it was the first murder of a white man in, 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 the, uh, in, no, in the county, in Manitowoc County. It's written in the Manitowoc County. That's the policy. Yeah. 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 I never heard of it. So we have two people, and they're both buried here in the village, right? That guy was buried in St. Wendell? Yeah. Um, let's see what's here. Yeah, that's the Hetzel Place. Yeah. In the Catholic Cemetery at St. Wendell. So, so and we his have, infant daughter. We have a murder victim buried in St. Wendell, and we have one buried here in Heidelberg. <laughs> 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 St. Johannes. <laughs> Village was a little more wild than I thought it was. <laughs> Still is. <laughs> <laughs> we need more constables, huh? Well, you guys are paying for a pretty good police force, so. <laughs> Actually, my my great great grandfather, the one who came from Germany, was the justice of the peace. Maybe for the township, I don't know, or, or for this area. Dug out a lot of them. That's what it says there. That's the first I know that. 
So we think maybe the Hyka Bay Tavern is the oldest building, or the, the inn across the street, they're the two oldest buildings in the village. What about, you said the house for the uh, Lutheran Church up here, how old is that house? What's his name? Um, in this brick house over here was the... Uh, for the Catholic Church. For the Catholic, Catholic Church. Church. Yeah, that was for the... Yeah. There's a there's another house up the street here. Kathy, uh, Stephanie, what's her what's her husband's oh, name? Rossiter, Chris Rossiter. Rossiter, Chris Rossiter. That's that's a log building. He said there's a log house in the inside. It's, it's been built around. Um, there's Hanson here, and then it's the next. I think it's and then there's um, Mrs. Pfeiffer. The next one on the north side of the plane. It was born just, but I don't know who mm -hmm. there now. And that's the way at the end, where the Mrs. Krieger lived there. That was next up. That was further yeah, up. Krieger and Wood, there. Yeah, Krieger and Wood, there. Oh, yeah. It's on the other side of the, 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 the one west of the Viper's house. And he said that that's a long house. And it's it's about a And it's, it's been added on to it. Uh, well, Earthy's well, probably is part of Kimber Ellison. You have, you have logs in yeah, there? I think that, it. That, was a, that was must have been a little hut because when they were doing some remodeling, they found it like there was some windows down in the little hut and they built over it or something. So there were all logs in that house too when we, when we were first married. Mm -hmm. And then it was a bummer to get through. They put in new windows and stuff. Wow. We broke more no. saw blades. <laughs> Dorothy, you want to tell us something about the print shop? I see it says T.R. Mill on there, so I assume that was part of your family. Come That's on, one story. Where's the movie? Uh, uh, yes. So, and then uh, he built the second story. Is it running? Can we have a picture of it with the, with right, the second story? No, this is the only picture that came in at that time. So this is what I used thinking that this, is, this was it. 
So is your sister living in there or who's living yeah, in there? Yeah, my sister lives in there. Which one? Marion. Marion. Marion Kellner. Right. Now is that a two story house now? It's a two story yes. now.
When did they when did they take the well, you were gonna ask something about that picture? The no, the uh, brewery. When that was down, was, when when did they take it down? Nineteen fourteen and they they used the brick to build the Macaulay Theater in Manitoba. In nineteen fourteen. Yeah, well, so that's now a church. When did they build it? Well it is the history is in between there it uh burned. Yeah, it was destroyed by fire in 1880. It doesn't say here. And then it was rebuilt in 1890 until 1914. Okay. And did William Dempster Horn, the governor of the state of Wisconsin, come here to open that brewery? That's one of them. Uh, That's what I read somewhere. Horn is. He was, he's from Fort Atkinson, he's the one who started Fort, uh, Ford's Dairyman magazine. He promoted uh, dairy cows and alfalfa and corn salad in the state. A famous guy, he was only governor one term. Here, here is the brewery. Oh yes, there it is, a nice photo of it. And that's where Kenny Brooks would have the bottle here. Although the bottle said Cleveland, right? And the one that I have at my house that's free cedar, free snow or gators, that says Cleveland on it. Was this known as Cleveland Brewery? There's some that says Centerville. It's Centerville. It's Centerville. Okay. We have a Centerville. You do too. Okay. Okay. I have one too. A bottle? I got a label. Yeah. 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 I have a bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So what you're saying is that um, Val, yeah. what's her name? Val Sessler, she's the one who runs Sessler's BB. Um, yes, she's the one who runs Sessler's BB. 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 She's the one who runs Sessler's BB.
Strotman's. Was, Strotman's. First you got to start with Strotman's. Strotman's. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Strotman's yeah. store. Yeah. The when store or the winter garden? You had a picture here of it. Well, yeah. yeah. The store on the inside. corner. When here's the store. It was the inside picture. Yeah, here and then here. See, I thought that was the winter garden. Where the bowling alley was. No. no? Mm -hmm. The bowling alley was. With, uh, Mills. Yeah, they didn't have a bowling alley. Well, oh, they didn't have a bowling alley. No. no. I ever knew of. When did it burn down? In your what, Dorothy? 1960-something. In Rutherford. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was the shop list then anymore. Yeah. Was no, no. I remember when the building, but I, I don't ever well, remember the building. Well, when did Rutherford take over? That, yeah. that went for quite a while, too. Oh, yeah, before the war. Yeah. It was in yeah, there before we had the war. Yeah, wedding dinner there. When did it start? Something? Yeah. Something? Uh, we should have brought that cookbook along there tonight. Yeah. Kathy, do you have that cookbook? Oh, from the answer of the structures right there. I can do it at the house. Oh, at the house, okay. I can run over and get it. Oh, that's fine. And the history of the is in there. Yeah. The the one who started it. The dance hall, or the tavern, or whatever it was. The dance hall. Pictures, a lot of these good strawberry pictures came from Eunice. She was all okay. uh, she came for our reunion. And here's the oh, the here's the other side. Oh, I remember that. And it was a gas explosion, like LP gas, right? We know, mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, you don't know. Never was it's it's stated. Yeah. Stated. No, my father was alive. He could answer that because he was a gas man. No. Oh, so here no. is the. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Fire is, fire that, is uh, in yeah, the village, you are always a, a, a suspicious origin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, there's always an insurance rumor or something. Yeah, you know, they're times. not doing too well, you know, or yeah, the prison yeah. is not doing too well, and then, you know, there's this rumor of what's wrong. Now, here's two pictures. You mean when you stand next to it, no roof lifts up? Of, uh, <laughs> of, um, are you at, is you at the store? Here's two pictures of the, of, uh, brother for it. Oh, all right. And if I recall right, they, this is this is purely hearsay. They had a big tank with lobsters in, it, and you could pick your own lobster. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. I mean, at that time, it was upscale. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. Well, yeah, place it was like world famous. Where was, was this was located? Fancy. Down here. Right, right yeah. 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 And I think people flew in from all over the world. Was this road in the lake shore? In the, the next lake shore. block, but down by the lake shore. Okay. On this side. When you, when you go on uh, Washington go and go bend, around yeah. the bend, it was on that Washington the, on that Who owns that land there now? Rutherford still owned that. No. Do you think so? Uh, who, who has the fiberglass? Uh, they own it? Yeah. Who does? Mecca? Mecca? Yeah, yeah, I think it's. Yes. What's his name? John, his name is John, so John. Oh, John Rodden. Yeah. Oh. They own that? Well, ask, the other ask Kathy. Kathy. Kathy left. Maybe the other couple that's in there too. There's you know more people involved in that. Those guys who own the lumber yard, and, and uh, Oh, Mr. Rodden. Cheryl and Cheryl. Oh, you mean the people now? Cheryl would know she wanted. She wanted to buy it. They have that drywall company. Mm -hmm. She wanted to buy it, and she Cheryl knows it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Bill said he would. Kathy, he does Rutherford still own that? Cream. Cream. He was a little boy. His daughter-in-law, Sally, owns this next lot. Next to you here. But what right. about east? Do they want any I land? I don't know who owns that land. Okay. That land and all the way down to the lake is the same person. Yeah, it's the same. Okay, so it already comes up. It comes up between you and the, the neighbor over here. So right. There's one the lot here. And then, and then uh, down. Right. Uh, this, I don't know. I think it, they just own pool. this. It's just this lot up here. I don't know. Well, you don't know what Gerald knows. No. Here's that book. Pardon me. Thanks. Here's a very new one, Kathy. Uh, I haven't done much cooking with it. Okay. Um, we're uh, meeting here today. It's the 6th of November, the year 2000, in the um, New Age Computers, which is to be the Red Arrow School. And we're meeting here for the purpose of discussing the history of uh, the part of Cleveland, which is called Haika, and used to be called Centerville. 
My name is Richard Wiegand. I'm from the from the township. This is Dorothy Anderson, Kathy Sixel. You have to give me your name again. Valjean Marco. Marie Pippert. Wait, um, look at the camera, Florence please. Chris. Florence Cress. Please take Wally a look. At, could you look at the camera, please? Florence. Oh. Everybody look at the camera. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Wally Cress. Wally Cress and Diana Cole. Diana Cole. Okay. These are some of the same things. Very good. We're getting this on tape for historic purposes. Hundred years from now, we'll be looking at this. Not we will. <laughs> Someone else, <laughs> maybe. This image, image will pop up in our minds. Right, absolutely. We don't want to tire everybody off, but we'll be getting different people involved. And we want to have uh, a couple of meetings, maybe on Haika and a couple on the, on the village, uh, St. Wendell, the township, and also Town Mimi, um, to, get, to get different people and to get the history of this area as much as anybody can remember. Bill Rutherford was going to be here this evening, but he had tickets for the Packer game. Oh. So he's uh, attending the Packer game tonight. And freezing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Getting wet, maybe. Yeah. That's so. going to be very yeah. disappointed at the end of the year, <laughs> And you said, you said Kathy Wagner might pop in? Yeah, she might pop in. She had three things tonight, so she I knows. said to her it wasn't real vital that uh, we were just yeah. going to be getting started, and we really didn't know how this was going to work yet, right? right. So. Wasn't Kathy Wagner involved in preparing that Centerville history? That yeah, one there? she helped along very along much. Along with so. Barb Ertle? Was it Barb Ertle or? Barb Ertle in, in the, this. Yeah, that one right there. In this okay. book, yeah. And that was done in 1958 or 76, excuse me. Yeah. That was the ninth, our celebration, 1976, you know, what was that? You know. Bicentennial. Of the country. Yeah, 1876 yes. okay. to 1976, right? 1776. Oh, yeah, 1776. Okay. okay, what's the next subject that we're going to talk about? This is something about Rutherford's here. It's about the winter garden there. This is their, um, this was their um, menu and about them, people buying, going there. This was one of their napkins, I guess. Well, for oh, heaven's sake, yeah. Dorothy. Yeah. A nice selection, huh? Remember that? She wouldn't. No. She wouldn't. <laughs> no, she wouldn't. I don't think you would. I don't see any dates in here. I don't remember my dad ever talking about that place, and I, I would think that he, he would only. Diana, who was your dad? Lloyd Siebel. From? Who was from Man well, Manitowoc is the address. Didn't he have an implement? Yeah, he or? still does. Yeah, he still got that implement shop. Can I have them back, please? Dorothy, sometime I'll borrow those and take some nice colored copies because these were not very good. This is that this oh, that's, that's that one, but it's taken on a regular oh, copy. You must have got it from someplace else, though, because I didn't yeah. these to you then. No. So do you have memories of that place? Some pretty good memories? Oh, yeah. The biggest one was <laughs> when it burnt down the next morning. My mother called me about 6 in the morning, it was a Saturday morning, and she and we wanted to sleep in. And she called, she says, the Rutherford's burned down last night. And I said, well, why are you calling us and telling us? She said, I was up all night giving them coffee. Oh. The firemen and everything. But, oh, sure, we had our wedding and our, uh, our wedding dinner in the dining area. Mm -hmm. But the store itself, Strutman's, was our store to go to. And they only had ice cream in the uh, win summer. So it was always nice when they, when they could have ice cream again. And then they always had it on a weekend. Remember that? Right. In summer. Then you go for Dick Brothers uh, bread. Dick Brothers bread, and uh, yeah. And uh, Uncle Julius would give me five cents to go down and get an ice cream cone. <laughs> right. Charmaine Knievers is the one who did this cookbook, and she was also invited to come here tonight. She oh, was? Yeah. yeah. And she had an excuse? She was, they were up north, they're up north. They're up north, okay. Right, and it wouldn't be home on time. Okay. She is um, uh, pointy. Yeah. She's. Um, she's Helen Coyte's daughter. She was a niece mm -hmm. to Aunt Norma Strachman. Norma Strachman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, Helen, see, from that, Helen is Norma's sister. Okay. Charmaine has already been doing some work on uh, sp specific genealogies of nice. people related to her in, in, uh, in Haika. She, she did ours, Wind and Mary and a Mine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Took it down on that and then. Typed it all. She was done for. Yeah, I believe that. 
There's a lot of hard work. I found all my stuff. Look what you found. Silos in Manitowoc County. That's the one you were selling the other day? Yes. See, I, this is good not thing related I didn't buy to, one. Not related to Centerville, but... Uh, Weren't there motels here one already. time, too? That Thomas, didn't he have a motel? Right. right. I lived those there. Were, those were <laughs> sure, or Shuri's. Any Shuri's. Yeah. Any Shuri's. Oh, yeah. Along the lake. Yeah. Along the lake yeah. yeah. The main building is there. If somebody lives there. Oh. There was... But that's... that's how far back are we, I mean, how far up are we coming on this? That's you know, the Shorecrest Hotel that, yeah. you know, and oh, yeah. that's, they were there 40 years ago. I remember them 40 years ago. Shorecrest was towards Sheboygan? No, no right down here. here. Oh, it was down here. Right oh, down right on the yeah. lake shore, right? Yeah. Thomas yeah. had them. They, they left the area, right? Thomas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and didn't they have a TV? Yeah. 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 They moved to uh, Florida. Florida. Yeah. I think that he, he just recently passed away. They're back right. here, aren't they? He was back oh, his here. kids live around here. Yeah. That one has the gas station out near mm -hmm. north of yeah. here. And, and one is married to, or is that? Is it? Yeah. Randy and um, Lori. Yeah. 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 Live all right. Mm -hmm. uh, to the. Down by the. Mm -hmm. Do you still live Down by the lakes. Up. No, not anymore. They, they don't live right next to the barber shop upstairs, no. Oh, I didn't know that. Quite a while oh. mm -hmm. Where would where would that have been located? Uh, well, there used to be a tannery tannery down here too, by the lake. Yeah. There where the where the um, switch the old Shuey's treatment plant is here, right? There was, was? I think, wasn't there a tannery? Yeah. Sure. Well, it says something about the tannery. When the wind came from the west, the people of Centerville in 1860 smelled the odors that came from the tannery. The co this company was operated by a man named Knorr, K-N-O-R-R. -R. The factory was destroyed by fire in 1875 or thereabouts. Leather was a product which was almost indispensable in the life of the pioneer settler. He needed leather to make the shoes and boots that he wore, his belt, the saddles, the harnesses for the horses. Artisans like the village blacksmith, the miller, and the shoemaker usually wore leather aprons. Thus, the tanner of the tides of the animals was a very important man in any village of the 1850s and later on. Tanning hose was on. Tanning hides was an art and it could be done in the home but not necessarily well. So it said when the wind was coming from the west, so that means it was oh, west. Yeah. <laughs> Must have been up this way. Couldn't have been on the lake shore, it had to be west. I don't remember. I, I remember. Hello? Hmm. Maybe, maybe it was up this little what's the street back back up around here that bends and goes over by Forner yeah. there. Maybe Franklin, maybe it was up in there somewhere. I have no idea. I don't remember. Would they have needed uh, hydroelectric pump? What do you call it? The, the, the water wheel to run it? No, because the only water wheel. The only was water wheel was the one here by the. By the they mill. do all that handling by hand, don't they? Could be. But there used to be something to do with the bottles. What was that? When you talk about the power batteries and stuff, bottles. Oh, what was yeah, that? that was up in Cleveland. That was a light plant. Huh? Where was that yet? So back in the far west of the. I remember they also talked about that too. Bottles? Bartles. Bartles. Oh, Bartles. B R T H E L. And what is west of the funeral parlor? I think it was west of the funeral parlor. That was a yeah. that was a power plant. Yeah. Yeah. What did what how did they what what did they use to to? Fairbanks Morris oil engine. Oh, it was an engine. And then they ran it during the day and turned it off at night? I have no idea. That's this place, yeah. I don't remember either. Because I don't know where the engine ended up. That's yeah. how I know where. But did it make a lot of noise? I don't Yes. Probably made noise. Dorothy heard it run too. Probably was one of these one or two cylinder things. One cylinder. One cylinder thing. But, uh, the story I heard, they quit up there. Yeah. They brought it down here to the mill. See, when the dam went out, yeah. they had to have some power. Mm -hmm. So they rolled that engine down on the flywheels and set it up down here to run the mill. And uh, I forget who it is. They had the oil on the stove instead of putting it in the engine. So they burned out the engine. So that was the end of it. Then they went to electricity. Now, is this which dam, which time? 24, time. 1924 when it went down? When did electricity come through here? In the early 20s. Yeah. Because I was about four or five years old when we got it. Yeah. 
That was stated yeah, in the paper, the, the Mad Walk paper, with the article they wrote about the 150 sesquicentennial. Yeah, there is an individual that discussed what electricity. It's that one right down here. Yeah, but for some reason I think of 1817, but maybe that's a little early. Oh, that was down the corner. Yeah, they didn't remodel that. I don't know what that was for. And, we what, had a, and what was this? The ice house and the ice house was in the back of it. And the back of it. And what was this? The livery store. Livery stable. For, livery for stable. A store for Stra see Stratman's is a across the street corner across the street. Oh, okay. This that is on the east side of of, was, of the Lake Road, and was uh, Washington, no Lincoln, and then Kitty Corner is Stratman's. Yeah, okay. Michelle's lived next to it. Where was this located? Down the corner, down the other corner. Lake no, Road. Not when you come into Hike. In the park. In the park. In the, in the park. park. In the park. The Buddhist has it now? No, no, no. No, it's no. no it's oh, I don't know fee, the fee, fee, um, The realtor. Yeah, fee. fee, fee, fee. fee yeah, fee. Okay. That what? That's the building? No, no there was. No. He says it was torn oh, down. Tour, oh, that's where. But that's where it was located. Yeah. Fee. Um, yeah, I never can pronounce it. Buddhist. The Buddhist. The Whatever. Well, we're kind of curious on which this is. This is the hotel. Which house is this in the township or in the area? That's the street. I think that's it's the Jenny's. street. There's so many cars. It's it's Jenny Eggers, right? Was that the one of those cars? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I Jenny's it. house in there. Yeah. I think that is clever. Let me yeah. tell you about that. Uh, it was a card. You've got this one on the cemetery. Yep. See, here's the one half, and then you didn't have the second half. It says this is some old. Maybe I, didn't bring it, cause I knew you had the picture. Did you ever find where this was? Well, that picture I didn't have. Anyhow, this kind, this was found. This no, snapshot was found, or the postcard, in a antique place in Pennsylvania, and the people from Haika wrote to somebody in Pennsylvania and said, this is a nice little old town and we stay here a day or something like that. It's in Pennsylvania and then we found it. Somebody saw it and it was Haika and they brought it back to us. Speaking of cars, um, my understanding is that the first person who had a car in the village was, was Leo Klessig, the cheese maker. That could be. Did he, did he, who had the first telephone? Did he have the first phone also, or who, when did the telephone come through? Because Ernst Classic and um, Walter's father, and um, somebody from the village here were the people who first started that telephone company, Mosul, the Mosul Centerville, or the Centerville Telephone Company. I'm trying to think of the name of the other. Um, no, um, was it was it Victor Heinz? He's not from the village, but was no, it? He wasn't from the village. But did he have something to do with the telephone company? Not that I ever know. Okay. Hmm? I'm trying to think of another name. Anyway, that's coming a little bit from the township, but I I uh, I, I remember a little bit about that. How long did that hotel go, that's Jen Eggers' house? Or was Jen Eggers' house now? How long was that? Um, was it a hotel, bowling alley, dance hall? Dance hall, and that was torn down. We got the movies. Remember? We got the movies of that being torn down, the, the dance hall part, and then they built the porch. When was it? I was up on the roof with Rudy. You were, huh? I think that was in the about the same high school. How old were you? Rudy. 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 Rudy, Rudy Mill. Uh, oh. Uncle Rudy. This guy here. There were old band instruments in the dance hall. We you were one of them too. We got all of them one day, up and down the street. Oh, my cheeks were so sore. This <laughs> Uncle Rudy. Okay. Okay. Well, nobody ever had played an instrument before, and here we go blowing them. Dorothy, how many films do you have? Movies? Yeah, movies. One, one really, and um, another one of our weddings, I guess, and a little bit of other stuff. But you unless have one, you have you some, have one where people are marching, dancing yeah, on the street down here. Yeah, that was after the dam picnic. 
when they had the celebration the next day to clean up. And then they... Because I remember the, what's Vernon Crest is, is on there and he's what, like 11 or 12 years old? Yeah. And Hugo Sherry is on there and he's dancing up and down. Well, that was somebody else's video one time. Was somebody, it? Because yeah. we saw that at the Veterans. I thought it was yours. Maybe it was. But I, I, if it's somebody else's yeah, it video. Been what? 35? I think it was in the 30s, yeah. Yeah, 35 was the damn thing. There were two. 35 and 36. Yeah, I got pictures of when the dam went out. That was second time. See, 1924, it, that one went the out. Original. It's got oh, that. Yeah. Uh, if all you guys can make yeah, it, this is the new one. That fence that's like that. That's the old one. It has to be the old one. There's a chimney, there's a smokestack here, and that wasn't that new one. Oh, yeah. Does anybody know who some of the village administrators were? Make parts either, who was running the village in those? That's probably in the history somewhere. Well, it wasn't the, up until it was incorporated, I guess it just... It was part of the town. Township. Oh, it was part of the township. And we do have some records, but not a complete record, because they cannot find the minutes from in the 1800s. And I asked Orville Bondi, who since me and me and Centerville together, he was unaware of any minutes being anywhere either. So I believe that was you, Kathy. Oh, We're going to do something on seeing if we can round up the old minutes, correct? Yeah, we looked at Doc Ryan, and then they called everywhere. They thought yeah. maybe that Harlan and Albert and Albright had some, but I don't think they have yeah, any either. I don't know. They haven't called oh, yeah. them yet. Um, but yeah, that's you. pretty much the only way we could find out. Yeah, because I'd be kind yeah, of curious seven, even to know, know, you know, with my great grandfather, was Justice of the Peace, if there's any record. Um, of when he served right. and what he and did. No, that would more likely be at Madwalk County Courthouse. Because, I have not been able to find it. I don't know, I didn't look real hard for that, but I haven't been able to find anything old enough that was of any interest. I can try and get it. What is this? This is like taking it from up over here, down over the village. Well, this was on, this was in, on top of a building somewhere. Yeah, but there's a hill. Maybe they were on the hill, too. Up here on the hill. Yeah, it could have been up on the hill. This was the Lutheran Church that was located, and that was located behind the Catholic Church. You said down on that street? Well, no, down for the... Down for yeah, down but, but really, it would be what you want yeah, to say it that way. But the Catholic Church was here, and then you could keep on going you mean down north, north, on, north, north on... North on... And then, uh, and then it went around. Like this. this one, where is it? Yeah. Beach Street? Or? Beach Street. Yeah, it would be the end and then to the left. And with this church, there also was a parochial school. And that parochial school got moved to Roland Jacoby's farm, and it's owned by David Hansen today. Was that Anybody remember anything about that? Was that what they called the German school? I suppose it was the German school. You took school. that off of this one. Could be, yeah. yeah. What? Where is it? It's on a Jacoby farm? On the Jacoby farm, you know, across, where Grace, across from Grace and Howard Yeager, where they used to yeah. have their farm. That's where that school was moved to. Did you go to the and it's still there? It's still there. Not that one, no. It's still there. And the, there was, there's a picture of it, but that that's up at there. the bank right now. That display is up at the that bank, you know. That was the ultra that we're able to see. Yeah. Okay. That brick one? It was on a, on a, that side side road, on a southwest there. corner. Yeah, I, I don't remember there was a school there. Maybe it was a German school there. A German. Or German school. Somebody. Adela Brodica remembers it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Frederick Jacoby, and we, I didn't, I was going to have Adela there tonight, but Frederick wasn't home. They must be on a trip, you know, otherwise I, we could have had Adela come out too, and she grew up here too. There's a no, little right, one. right up there, right. But what happened to her, what house? She what was, was her house? Half, no, she was a stepsister. A stepdaughter. Stepsister. To, oh, to Norma. Yeah. Where Cheryl Cole is. Where Cheryl Cole is. And the, which I, her house didn't get moved away then. No. No. Her house Are is still there. Mm -hmm. Talking about the Lutheran Church, um, the Grandpa Soxy gave money to the church. He donated a bell and something else. But uh, he wasn't allowed to go to the church because he was a woodsman. Does anybody know what a woodsman is? Well, that probably was the GUG. Uh, oh. Germania or whatever you yeah. call it. That. that was a lodge, right? Yeah. The lodge. Yeah. That was and the yeah. cedar lodge. Yeah, and right behind the Catholic Church was this little old hut, and that's where they would meet. 
and that but that's gone too. Yeah. How long did this lodge exist? I don't know. Well, they had Cedar Lodge way down the bottom as well, next to the dam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was uh, what was the purpose of the lodge? Is it the same as it is today? Was it some kind of No. <laughs> <laughs> some kind of ago. <clears throat> that was all the young guys that weren't married yeah. belonged to it. But my dad did. <clears throat> oh, it did. Do your dad belong to it No, but too? The, the later Cedar Lodge after oh, all. Cedar Lodge. Now, just before yeah. the war and right after the war after mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. Well, then the guys got married and then it was the end of it. Yeah. I remember all of them, Art Shuri, all of them belong yeah. to that. Well, Harold Cole. Mm -hmm. I Jimmy. remember hearing Betty, all, all of them. Yeah. Well, it's been so it was just kind of a drinking society or what? Yep. Yes, more but or that less. isn't this GOG, this is something else. This is something. They call it Cedar Lodge too, so I don't know. Yeah. What well, but the what original one was. What, what was that? The, those initials, what you said, what was that? GOG? GOG. I've got, I had Germania that. Germania or whatever it is. When I went through oh. this, I had the uh, thing that they wore. What is it? Oh, I am Yeah, uh-huh. I see. What, do you, what, you mean those things that we saw in that one photograph? Is that? Oh, I wonder, Marie, we had that one <laughs> photograph of those men on the horses? Oh, yeah. But they it, had oh, that's these. right. They had yeah, they had yeah. all that stuff on. Mm -hmm. Remember, and the horses yeah. had flowers around. Mm -hmm. Do you think that was affiliated with that? I don't know. It was right in front of the Wimler's Tavern. Is that where it was? Mm -hmm. They looked like they were out of the Mexican They were Revolution. on horses. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like about 1915. That was... Oh. You know. They all looked old, <laughs> and they all had like like a banner across. Here. Yeah. yeah, we'll bring that along next time and see if any of you know anything about this. And who was on that photo yet? Well, one was Charlie Wimler. Charlie Wimler, yeah. and do you remember you some remember? of the names? Well, Richard? even Gordigod was sitting in the in, in the wagon in the back. He wasn't mm -hmm. up in the front. Yeah. Um. Well, we'll have to discuss that photo another time. I'll bring it along. Yeah. <laughs> you made that one. Yep, that one I have. That's the brick factory. Yeah, in high it says. Uh, I gave her those photos, and now I can't find them. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I brought them back. Gave them. <laughs> and I was going to say, um, they sold Rutherford's uh, about a week before Pearl Harbor in 1941. And uh, then so, so uh, Pearl cool. Harbor times came, and that's when gas, gas was rationed. So they had tough going. So they started another tavern in Manitowoc, and uh, Bill ran the one in Manitowoc, and his wife ran the one in Centerville. Oh, in 41, he bought it from Stratton's? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That could be. Yeah. I just happened to read that here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. because Stratton's mm -hmm. lived in Milwaukee already during the war. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you remember about the war? I mean, I remember the ration stamps. <laughs> And you know, I, you had to be very careful. We got some sugar off of the black market and coffee, mm -hmm. and we buried it in the oats because you were so afraid of a raid. And uh, you had leather. You couldn't buy shoes. You had to have stamps to buy leather and cheese. Couldn't Do any tires. of you remember this? Oh, yes. And gas. Mm -hmm. You couldn't get gas. Tires. Tires. Audrey <laughs> Earle was telling me her dad had a car, and it was a fancy car, and it had two tires on. And he had to put one tire, take one tire off. You were only allowed one spare tire, and then they put it in the basement and they played with it. <laughs> yeah. What What do you remember about the war? I was in it. You were in it. Yeah, and I was rationing. Yeah. When I came home on furlough, I had plenty of gas. All I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> My uncle told me his steps. Oh, okay. So what we years were been. you in the service, Wally? Forty-two to forty-six. Okay. Forty-five. And where did you serve? Randall Field, Texas. Oh, okay. Were you along two floors? No. Or you yeah. were? We were buried. Afterwards, okay. Mm -hmm. So, Richard, do you remember everything about the war? Remember World anything War II, about I wasn't the war? born. Well, you weren't born yet. No, I was born after the war. After the war. Dorothy, what do you remember? Well, I was at school in Madison, and I remember all the soldiers coming over and getting shots, and then they'd faint. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get hit from both sides? Yeah, right. And wasn't there something with nylon stockings? We, oh, you yes. couldn't get nylon stockings. Yeah. Run down to pray, try to get stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, our stockings all had uh, seams down the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so you had to have that seam yeah. straight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you remember about the war, Marie. Well, I just remember the time I had a, he had to work because he was 4F, and uh, we uh, had to work at the shipyards and at Mirror. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Yeah. 
So nobody else got any items off mm -hmm. of the black market. And Kiro syrup, I remember, we sugar. got from, yep. old, from we Milwaukee. Had a round of sugar. Yeah. I remember that. Did you have that fear Coffee. for some reason? I don't know why we hid it in the oats. You know, we buried it in the mm -hmm. oats so that there'd be a ring. Yeah, <laughs> there were enough of us see people from a large family. Oh, so okay. Yeah. And I brought up on a farm. We had to get the meat. Meat and veggies oh, yeah. you had and yeah, so. Right. And I know another thing that they had reeds, you had to practice during the night. You remember that? And you had to pull all your shades and you had to put all the lights out and you only had the radio dark. on. Mm -hmm. It was all dark so that if the airplanes would come and bomb, you would know what to do. Yeah, and at the hospital, they put the lights out and, and at the elevator, when the little uh, up or down, that little light made so much light. <laughs> the, on, the, on the button. Oh, I can just remember. It was real frightful. I was small, and I can just remember how frightful it was when, when we had to practice for those reads. And once in a while, you'd be in the city, and the whole city would be dark. Of course, you know, we didn't have electricity on the farm mm -hmm. at that time. But know. we also had plenty to eat, and so we, yeah, yeah, we, it, well, we had everything at home. Chickens and garden stuff. And mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mrs. boyfriend was in service, he was overseas, and he was, and I don't know, he landed in South America for some reason to make it over to Canada, and they had nylons, so of course he couldn't, you know, they didn't have much time, so he just grabbed a whole bunch mm -hmm. and sent them home to my sister mm -hmm. before he had to take off, mm -hmm. so they didn't match. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sizes, you know, were oh, she had a few pairs she got out of them, yeah. you know, but then my sister-in-law, she was smaller, the smallest, mm. she had more stockings than me. That's, it. It. Her, yeah. that's yeah. what you, that's what you get for sending a guy to the like shop. <laughs> yeah. She did send him, he just grabbed him, he didn't have time to pick anything up, he just, mm -hmm. but she had a few pairs. She I made a lot of train rides in those days. Every six months we come home. Dorothy, what you should do is you should put names and dates on the back of this page. If it isn't on the front. Well, that's a postcard, but some mm -hmm. of them don't have anything on them at all. Oh. It's right, right on the back what they are. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, you're, your pictures, you know better than most of the rest of us what they are. It's, okay. it's right on the back. That's what we did at home. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I was, I was yeah. laid up for a while mm -hmm. in, in uh, 1980. I came back from South America. And, Ooh, uh, that's hot. Yep, it's, would you care for some Florence and, and uh, we had this big box, so we had like 200 photos in there, and I just got them out one day, and I said to Louis, I said, let's start writing. <clears throat> I wrote names and dates mm -hmm. on the back. Just, you have just to do went that. through the whole thing. And we got down to about 20 of them, we couldn't figure out what, who they were or what they were. But we got all the rest of them. Mm -hmm. And of course, I took them around, you know, to some of the people that we thought might know, I took them around, too. Louis, your father? Mm hmm I went to high school with Louis. Mm hmm my dad is good with names yep. and dates. And he, he sure knows, is. He Thank knows you. how everybody's related. He knows yeah. all your cousins. He knows when your birthday is. It's got to be good if he knows everybody's related around yeah. here. I don't remember that much. <laughs> <clears throat> I know he and Bernie, they do a lot to go to church together in Abrams. And yeah. He also doesn't like to sit a, a, ahead of me in church. Why? Because I always hit him on the head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on purpose? I had a I had a meeting where I taped. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna get some more. I got like two and a half. Whoops. Two and a half tapes. Um, let's see how far we are on this one. Yeah, this summer um, I went over by Cupy uh, Hubert Dersch, mm -hmm. and sat down with the tape recorder and, mm -hmm. and uh, um, Phyllis was there and myself and, mm -hmm. and Marie. His, uh, uh, Tupi's wife, and we just talked mm -hmm. about the village and all kinds of things. And uh, one thing that came out of it, which is kind of interesting, and I haven't been able to find these people, but uh, Ruben and Rosie Prowl mm -hmm. yeah. also yeah. had a movie camera, mm -hmm. video camera, and they took videos of people who came into the barbershop. Mm -hmm. you mean, that was movies, Dad. Well, I don't know what it was, and I don't know, I presume it was in the 50s, maybe the 60s, I don't know when. And where are those? Their son. Who oh, has them? Yeah, what's his name? Uh, oh, Richard? No. Uh -huh. Oh, Prowl. Uh -huh. Prowl. They had a son, and he's retired, and I think he lives in Florida. And, 
And, you know, the others are gone. I mean, I don't know where those videos ended up, or tapes, but oh, presumably shame. she's it's got them. Yeah. Or, or, or he's, he's got them, and I don't quite know how to find them. And I asked Ben one mm -hmm. day, and he told me he thought that, that he had retired in Florida. There must have been a car or a train wreck in 1992, 1992. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. It was a postcard somebody sent us. It is a train wreck. Mm -hmm. It was Cleveland, Wisconsin. Yeah. October 24th, 92. Never heard anything about a train wreck down there. Changed the yeah. ride in 92. Sure. Never heard about a train wreck. They even made a postcard out of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, they made postcards out of everything yeah. that, that, um, that people would send them, like sure. this one. In 1911, dear friend Elmer. They'll send to Elmer Garth's key and Burm key. Uh, how are you getting along from your friend, E.S.? That was a one penny postcard. See, you know that you buy a regular postcard now and they're 21 cents? Oh, it's more than that. No, 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 no. The 20, a ten, 20 cent postcard you pay 21 cents for. Mm -hmm. I it's more than that already. No. Well, I mean, it used to be 20 cents to 20 cents, but not mm -hmm. a 21 cents. Mm -hmm. What else do we have on hydro here that we have to cover? You took the dam going down and up, huh? Mm -hmm. How long do people want to stay? Are we winding down or are we winding down? I think up? we should wind down. When it, when it was rebuilt, the second time? Just about out of tape here. Second time was 35. We'll just yeah. keep it on the August inner? The dam, I think it's 36. The picnics were 35 and 36. The dam picnics. Yeah, we could probably take a picture of that uh, banner there or that poster and so. Oh yeah, there, yeah, yeah, you know, there isn't a year on that. There is on the side. Oh, there is? On the very side. I remember when I got this from there. Did the dam go out twice? Well, in 1924, it was out all my life as of growing up, it was out until... But then when was the second one? This is 1935. Out, yeah, I think 42, because I remember my, my son was yeah. a baby. And yeah. I was just outside, and I remember hearing that noise. 1942. Oh, 42. 42. Mm -hmm. And then here it says of August 15, 1935. That's a bill from the Centerville Dam picnic. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. From the printing, mm -hmm. from the printer, mm -hmm. and all the supplies. I was in used. Madison when the dam went out. That in 42, when, and Paul Yeager went to school there and was come back from a weekend. Mm -hmm. Or otherwise, it was um, your uncle. I forget somebody. And he said the dam went out this weekend. <laughs> I worked so hard getting the picnic and everything, and the dam in, and then the 42 went out. What was the reason for it? Just the erosion? Big rain, oh, and then uh, that I was I remember I was outside. He was maybe he was maybe nine months old. I was holding him, and my God, was that a noise? Oh, you could hear it. You could hear it. Here, these are pictures of that when uh, that went out that time. Rain during. Mm -hmm. I was in service already when it went yeah, out. See, the main dam was still staying. But the, it's the dirt part. on each side washed away, okay. and along went the little the black mill. It rained so hard that people couldn't go to church on Sunday. Morning. Really? I wasn't home just to tell. Yeah, oh. both mills. Like, yeah, like the other one the other was kind of down. They had taken half of the other one under the wagon, and so they had mean. like a flat flat. Sure. That, yeah, that whole we went all over the place. Now, what is your? Is this still on? Yeah, it's still on. <laughs> what is your aim? at this whole thing. Well, we just thought the local part first. Well, we wanted to get as much history as we could, you know, get as many people together and eventually, you know, transcribe it now and put it down, you know, so that the history is here of Ica. And eventually try to have a, a history room somewhere mm -hmm. so we could put it in here. So when you want to look something up, you could go to this room and you could find it. Right. And that each family would work on, on their family, you know. Because, you know, there's a lot of people that are related here, we don't even know it, right? Mm -hmm. Gotta be careful what you talk about. Yeah. Just call us the life on that out. First, you and Cheryl, we get together for the ceremonies. And she was there talking about so and so. Boy, I said, you know, I'm related. So, after a short time, she's, are you related to so and so? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> more <laughs> more <laughs> talking. Yeah. Yeah, I'm more than a guy thinks.
Oh, okay. Right now, he would be related to me, and she would be too, or her husband would be. Are you uh, related to Lucio Schwartz? Mm -hmm. Husband? Mm -hmm. You are? Her husband? Oh. Oh. November 8th, 2000. This is the end of the tape. Heike, um, uh, we the Red Arrow six. School History Meeting. Tomorrow's the we're the sixth. Or oh, the sixth. Oh, six, yeah. They're correct. I was going to say, well, who won? <laughs> <laughs> you won't know until tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh, I mean, Wednesday morning. I have to correct that. It's uh, November 6th, uh, 2000. Uh, did you work in Green Bay, honey? Yeah, Bush was up there, but I, nobody's got any time. <laughs> Yeah, they said it came over TV that was sensational. The music that was, some people had never seen anything like it. Really? Yeah, so. They said there were big traffic jams in the downtown area. Yeah. Oh, and then up to what time? Because then the, then the football game people were going Right. Home. Now, is it a Milwaukee game or a Green Bay game? Green Bay. I, I think it's Green, Green, Green Bay. Okay, so Green yeah, Bay. real many cars. No, no, but, no I'm but, talking yeah, about the ticket every, holders. There are like two or three drive, Milwaukee be... games played in Green Bay. Oh, okay. Yeah, they still got Milwaukee in the tickets. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they do? Okay. Is that one tonight? I, I wasn't sure because I was curious about how the interstate Because then there would be a big be. traffic jam. There was a, there were, when I came home at 3 o'clock, there were real many cars going that oh. way with flags on Packer flags. Oh, oh so that's a Milwaukee yeah. game, so that means I'm going to have to scan around tonight. All right. Because it gets real bad on the double, way Double, double lanes again. horrible. Last time there was a Milwaukee game, I was coming from Cowan, Sheboygan, and there was a standstill on the interstate because an officer had one car pulled over. Everybody had to slow down and look at it which caused a huge oh, traffic jam for three miles on block. the interstate. So, it's bad with the Moss games. I'm over the forecast so you can see the cars coming in one on top of the other, and the other yeah. one is just about stopping. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. My biggest mystery in the Centerville area, though, is where are the seven uh, carcasses from the Indians taken from the burial mound? Where they went, it was, huh? where, where which, they which burial mound? There was a burial mound. I read, remember reading something mm -hmm. in the history that seven bodies were taken out of the Native American burial mound, and no one knows where they went. And that's and, a mystery to me. And they're taken out of, out of Buddha's place? Mm hmm. And that's a mystery. That was, yeah, I was okay. Curious. Yeah, because there was across from the, um, from, from Fisher Creek. Yeah, that would be Buddha's to, mm -hmm. to the west. Mm -hmm. in, in there in the woods somewhere. This is still running. This isn't running. Sure, this is. Yeah, that is. This yeah. is running. Maybe we could stop that too, huh? <laughs> oh, because it's a mystery. Tell, tell yes. your, tell your. Uh, Kathy. Kathy, we can. We can stop the. The video. The video. Oh. The video. It's getting on to um, other things. Touchy matters. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't even know that. <laughs>